Microsoft Excel 2013 Understanding the Cursor There are five different cursor shapes in Excel. Understanding what each cursor shape means in Excel will help you become more efficient at selecting, moving, entering, resizing, and editing data with the mouse. So the first cursor shape I want to show you is the white cross. And if you notice as I hover over a cell, you'll see the white cross. If I click, I select a single cell. If I left click, hold my mouse button down and drag, I can select a range of cells. The second cursor shape is a drag and drop. So let's say I select this range of cells and I would like to move this range. If I hover over the thick green border around these selected cells or cell, I will get a four headed arrow with a cursor pointer. If I left click and hold my left mouse button down, I can drag and drop this selection of cells to a different location. The next cursor shapes the fill handle, and when you click on a cell, you'll see the thick green border around the cell with a small square box in the lower right. If you hover over the square box in the lower right, you'll see the small thin black cross. This is a copying or fill handle, and what this will do is it will copy formulas, it will copy your name, it could copy patterns, and I'll show you some examples of this in just a few minutes. The next cursor shape is how we select columns and rows. So if I hover over this column, notice the down arrow. If I left click, I select the entire column. If I click and drag to the right, I can select a range of columns. The same is true when we're talking about rows. Now you have to be careful and make sure you get the correct cursor shape. Notice the cursor shape right now. It's the large white cross. As I move over a little bit more, I get the right pointing arrow. As I move up a little bit, I get the double headed arrow. These all do something different. So in order to select a row, you want the right pointing arrow. You want to left click, that will select one row. Left click and drag down to select a range of rows. To deselect this, just click in one cell. And the last cursor shape is the resize arrows. As we hover between the seam of two columns, you'll see the double headed arrow. This will allow me to click and drag and make this column larger. The same is true with the rows. I can click and drag and adjust this row. I can also select multiple columns or rows and adjust them. So I want to show you a little bit more with the fill handle. So I'm going to go on to a separate worksheet and I'll make this a little bit larger and I'm going to type my first name in. Now notice in the lower right I have that square green box. I'm going to hover over it. I'll get the small thin black cross and now I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag down. Notice the little label that's following me and as I let go of my left mouse button, you can see my name repeats nine more times. So let me go ahead and type in something in B1. What I showed you before is I typed in my first name and then I clicked and I dragged down to row A10. Well there is a faster way to actually copy this information down. Since we already have a column over here on the left side, all I have to do is get the thin black cross and instead of clicking and dragging, which I could do, I can double click. And double click will auto fill down to that previous column. Some of you might be looking at this thinking that, well, the next available column is D1. Well, let's find out. In column B1, let's look at the formula bar. So the formula bar will tell you exactly what's in that cell. And it looks like log on to learn is in that cell. Let's take a look at C1. There's absolutely nothing in there. I know it looks like it's entered in that cell. It's all in cell B1. So let's go ahead and we'll type Monday. So what I'd like to do is copy this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fill handle, either double click or click and drag. But notice this is a little bit different than the when I typed in my name and when I typed in log on to learn. This is actually filling a series. This is what you want, this is great but maybe you would like Saturday and Sunday to be removed from the fill series, or maybe you want all Mondays. There's a smart tag down here in the lower right that will give you some additional options. Right now it's filling a series. We could copy cells, which would be all Monday, or what we could do is we could fill weekdays. 
and it will remove the Saturday and Sunday. What I'm going to try to do now is have this repeat 1 through 10. Now watch what happens when I double click or click and drag. It gives me all 1's. As I look at the Smart Tag, the Autofill Options, it's copying the cells. If I click on the Fill Series, it now will fill the series 1 through 10. Patterns can also be established very quickly as well. So let's say for instance, I would like this to continue to increase by 25 each time. In order to do that, I have to make sure Excel knows that there's some sort of pattern. And by selecting both of these cells, and double clicking on the square box in the lower right, you can see the pattern is continuing. Maybe I wanted the 25 and 50 to repeat over and over again, not have it increase by 25. That's where the Smart Tag or the Autofill options will come in handy. Right now it's filling a series, but we could have it also copy cells and it would just repeat that pattern over and over again. Now we'll go ahead and resize the columns. There's a couple ways to do this. One is you can come right between the seam of two columns, click and drag, and adjust the column width. Or you can double click, and double click, Excel will take over, and it will auto adjust your column width. Let me go ahead and double click and show you what that looks like. And notice how column A is much smaller. One of the things that you can do that's really quick and easy is to click on the Select All box to the left of column A and just above the number 1. From here you can then hover over the seam of any two columns, double click, and every column will be auto sized. Or, because you have every column selected, you could also click and drag and every column will be the same size. And that is Understanding the Cursor in Microsoft Excel 2013.